So we have all these fishing tourney items that honestly I haven't even like checked out yet. As you can see, we still have like the new notification on them. They're really, really the same, a lot of them. The shop banner is cute. There's a little, little display I think can work really well. I did get a bunch of these stone paths from the garden event, but so far the fishing tourney has been pretty underwhelming, but these stone paths are really nice. So let's try these stone paths in our city. Um, these are the ones that I really wanted to use though. We have Garden Sweet Shop B and Garden Sweet Shop A. And I think they will be absolutely perfect for a little city vibe. Um, what I'm gonna do when I start these off is lay out the streets in a way that I will be able to follow with some buildings. But first I just wanna check out the details on these little, these little shelves. They are, they're okay. They're not bad. They don't really line up very well front to back. I do like how the back of it looks and how there's kind of like a little bit of light in the back. So I might use these as walls uh, instead of as the jars. And this one's really cute too. I could see this kind of being sideways uh, and then have our animals interact with it, kind of like in the middle of the street. So we will use all of these. I'm just going to stick them down here for now to get them out of the way, because I don't know how the city is going to be quite laid out yet. Um, that's like kind of the first priority. Um, and I'm going to use these paths that I painstakingly uh, got from the garden event last week or the week before. So if we're making a city, we can do kind of like a straight through, but that's kind of boring. But we also need room for buildings this on this side and our silly little camper that who even likes that here anymore kind of gets in the way. So let's just see where these can go. Let's put that there. Let's have some streets coming this way and maybe we'll put some buildings like in the middle here. And then we want some buildings over on the side as well. We still have a few more streets to use up. My inventory high key is just such a disaster. Is chat working for you guys? Okay, but chat is working. Yay, thank you. I was worried that my paws like somehow messed with it. Ooh, I also like this fountain. I don't think we're gonna have space for this fountain because this fountain is absolutely mega massive, but look how pretty it is. Hey, Theodore, how's it going? Seriously, this might be the best fountain in the entire game. It also matches this little mossy guy. I wish this little mossy one had like a lantern on it too. Would have been super cute. So this is the layout we're going with right now. So far it looks like just like a, a U, which isn't super exciting, um, but we're gonna fill in between with a whole bunch of buildings. Hey Theodore, yeah, it's been a little while. I've been really busy with like my day job work, so I haven't got to stream, but I have missed you guys and I miss streaming. I always have a lot of fun when I stream. I think, oh, I really like this bookshop coffee bar. Could definitely fit the vibe. So I know I said I liked these. They kind of match the bookshop coffee bar. Like really, really well. Is that kind of cute? We're gonna run out of space. 
I'm kind of liking how this is going. Hey, Eden Lee's mommy, how's it going? This is a nice start. Okay, I like how I did kind of the L um, shape on the side, so let's push it this way. Thank you. Yes, I'm doing great. I have a little bit more free time right now, so I'm going live. It's been a while. I know, I wish we could have more space too. I've sent in feedback. I was like, hello, I would like to remove the camper, please. I would pay the leaf tickets to remove it. Please let us remove it. Uh, alas, I have not heard anything back. I know, right? I'm gonna put some more um, stuff behind it too so it looks bigger, but I do really like how it perfectly matches that little bookshop bar like really well. Okay, things can't go on top of the street, which is kind of annoying. I really do like when like streets and rugs can be layered. Otherwise, it can get a little bit of frustrating. But we have a lot of um, harmonious buildings to use. I'm actually going to search by harmonious so we can get this a little bit faster. Um, but like these guys, these are huge buildings and they really don't want to play well with our little paths. Yeah, we're going to have a little bit of space there. I like how the, we have like the little round window. I think that's pretty cute. Maybe I can use that space like this. No, I don't like how it's too far up. So let's move this back, move this back, move this back so it's flush. There we go. Okay, this is the front of our little town village thing so far. Yay, thank you. I'm okay. This is a good start. So I have saw some people who have the storybook palaquin kind of frustrated that they can't really do a lot with it. Um, and I totally understand because it it's not really a building, but I think if we stick it behind things, the little roof actually might be perfect uh, to layer behind things or not because it kind of sticks out with those handles. Hmm. Okay, I can I can see it being used for like a little bit of layering. That's kind of cute. Who's my favorite villager? Uh, my faves are Zell and Goldie. If you've watched a lot of my TikToks, you have probably noticed that I use Goldie in like all of them. Uh, Goldie just fits, just works. So we have this. I think that's kind of cute. Like, I saw someone on Instagram just kind of put it at the back of a path, and I was like, oh, that's kind of cute. So I like how it looks like there's something that you can walk to, but our path doesn't go that far, which is a little bit frustrating. So I might just move it for now. Let's see, we have a lot more buildings to use though. We are still at the beginning of this build, we have a lot to add. Oh, I got this floral shine waterfall for my gift today that someone sent me and it matches the fountain that I have out here and it's surprisingly really big. It's kind of huge, but look at this wall. Look at the stone wall that we got. I really like that stone wall. Pretty cute stone wall. Like adorable? I think so. Put that there. Put some more stuff behind there, maybe. Ooh, what if we put a fountain back there? Just kind of tuck a fountain away. And then you'll see it when you're from this angle. Okay, this wasn't what I was imagining, but it's not bad. 
you're missing the Sanrio collab already. Honestly, I'm kind of happy it's over because now we can go back to getting um, 5K cookies in the shop that aren't Sanrio. And I'm hoping next month has some really good 5K cookies for us. I'm very hopeful. They just released a preview and ooh, it's looking good. Okay, I really like the Dreamy Zen Bell Tower. It's just so freaking tall and really can add a lot here. I think I wanna add it on this side though. Oh, this freaking van, please. <laughs> I think I prefer the not in green roof. I'm gonna put this like this and I'm gonna put this one outwards. Have you seen the items for the next scavenger hunt? Um, I did, but I can't remember what they look like uh, at all. Cause I actually didn't make a preview video this month. I was really busy with work. So that kind of fell off my radar. So yeah, are you looking forward to it? Because I don't even remember what they look like. <laughs> These are the little buildings from January's garden event, which I absolutely loved. I don't see, maybe I'm just looking for an excuse to use them. This is a big, big moth bath. Moss bath. I think we need something at the end in front of this wall like i think the wall looks good but i think we just need a little something in front of it i wonder what we can fit there maybe we could just throw a dreamy signpost Signpost at the end of the wall, it's okay. Let's just toss some flowers around where they look cute. All right. I'm thinking I might change the front. We have a street here, but I'm not feeling the street with this anymore. So we might change up the front area. Ooh, let's get some street lights in here. I think that'll look really cute. Oh, we can put um, a Mizaiku stand. And do we have more street lights? We have more street lights. Where are the street lights? Oof, my inventory is a disaster. Here are the street lights. Do you have the Merry Memories plan? Yeah, the Merry Memories plan is actually the only subscription that I like continually use. Um, most of the other subscriptions I kind of rotate through when I want stuff, but the Merry Memories plan, just because it's so inexpensive for me personally, um, I kind of just have it all the time. And I have a friend who I share the gifts with um, who gets the same plan. So it's been really nice. Uh, I really don't mind the Merry, Me Merry Memories plan. The other two plans are definitely something I get less often. Good question. And thank you for the compliment. I have a lot of fun sharing my builds with you guys. I wish I could put things on top of the street. It's killing me. I don't know where I want the street light. I can't just put it in the middle thing here. <laughs> Maybe we put the street light down here. Will the street light fit down here? It doesn't fit our house. No. Hmm. Let's put that back. Let's put that back. There is a good place for a street light. Maybe we do this instead.
Imagine if we could design like this on the Switch. Dude, I would love that. That would be amazing. I was really expecting like Pocket Camp I've been playing since it came out and New Horizons came out after Pocket Camp did. So I was expecting something similar um, when New Horizons came out and I was a little bit disappointed in the lack of like design capabilities like this. This is just so satisfying for me. And part of the reason I still play this game is just because I can just sit down and start moving things around with my finger and it's just so easy and so relaxing. <laughs> Do you play New Horizons or Pocket Camp or both? Uh, I play both. I haven't played New Horizons though, I'll be honest, in, in like two years. I got the Happy Homeroom um, expansion and I did a Happy Homeroom and then I kind of got a little bit bored. So I haven't really played New Horizons in a long time, but I still play Pocket Camp every single day. <laughs> now I know I put the fountain in the back here, but one thing we could do instead of a fountain is put taller buildings. Um, so I have these Hot Spring, Hot Spring Village Inn and this Village Souvenir Shop. And they are just like very tall, harmonious buildings, which I really like. And it maybe with like this, because of uh, our little guy, <laughs> our doorway, it'll make it look like a different section of the town. So let's try that. Let's add some taller buildings back there and see how that looks. Aw, oh, thank you. I'm glad you guys are enjoying this so far. I really came into this with no plan, just a vibe. All right, this is what it looks like. Ooh, with the bigger buildings, we are blocking off the city vibe somewhat. What if we remove this tall one? Just sit over here for now. And what if we put this tall one over here? That kind of looks, for me, that looks more cohesive in the corner. So I think we're gonna go with this. That looks really cozy. I would love, I need to like, it's just screaming for me to walk through here right now. <laughs> uh, so now that we have this side looking good, I'm enjoying it. We're gonna have to fix up w whatever we have going on on this side. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we're working with so far. Maybe we can use, so one thing we haven't gotten to yet is the green buildings. One sec, let me go back into my inventory and we're about to go pull out a whole new bunch of buildings that we haven't gotten to yet. I'm kind of come back to these food stalls though. I absolutely adore these food stalls. Oh, here we are. Here's one of them. The country and kitchen, the ones with the green roofs are really nice. We have the summer veranda. This could be. I'm gonna throw down one of these just to see. Um, I want to kind of tuck it in behind so you only see a little piece of it. That actually might work really well. Oh, yep. I like that veranda more than I thought I would. What if we move it one block further back? Can you still see it or is it a little too hidden? Okay, you can still see it. You won't be able to see the animal as much, so let's leave it one forward for now. I wonder if one of these buildings fits in between. No. It does not fit in between. Okay, that's no problem. Our, our nice little shop is kind of hiding that anyways. This tall guy is getting in the way a bit, so I'm just going to get rid of him. And let's add some more buildings. I think I'm going to get rid of this for now. Because we are almost... What do we have here? We have the country and dining room. And this green roof. Just super, super cute. So cute. I'm gonna spin it around a little bit. I wish that circular window were on the right hand side so I could poke it out and have it showing kind of over here. Well, I guess it was that pink door or the floral door, which is really cute too. Okay, we can kind of show that off a bit. That works. Okay, that's as far as it goes. Fair enough. Always like that. 
Okay. Um, yeah, sorry. I've just made my camp a disaster. I usually throw things like in the front um, to get them out of the way. I've been following you since you first posted videos. Oh my gosh, Tay. Also, yeah, I totally remember you. Yay, thank you so much. It means so much to me. It's crazy that it's been like almost coming up on two years, I think, since I started posting videos on TikTok. Which is wild. It's such a cute little little niche. I want to see if I can move everything over one. Maybe that'll let me put something in between here. Will it fit? Oh, it does. Check this out. We got one extra tall piece in the middle there. Um, but now I feel like the path is a little askew. Let's just put this back here. Yeah, I feel like I do like having that tall piece back there, but now we can't see these storefronts as much. Maybe we can still leave this up here. Okay, that still works for me. Best of both worlds. So we have this side with the tall buildings in the store, little coffee thing up front. And then as we come over here, we're gonna have some more green buildings. Mooney Mushi, thank you for sharing the stream. Here we go, here's my another. So these buildings stack. Let's see if we should stack them. That is definitely not where we want it. Uh, thank you guys for sharing the live. I do like how it kind of like, do you see how it lights up the surrounding area? Um, like whichever way is open is cute. This is basically like a dollhouse. Like you'll be able to see inside the house, but I rarely like using them like that because it's weird to have just, um, one side of your building missing a wall. So I usually turn them, uh, so that it looks like an actual building. Like this game does indeed have real buildings. So let's see what it looks like if we stack them double high. Looking cute. You can see the city in the background. Very cute. I feel like I want this just one away from the path. Ooh, let's get this out of the way. I didn't mean for that to be there. Totally forgot about that. Hmm. I feel like the back is missing something. Oh, this side of the... This side looks really cute. That's a, I love just like flipping things around and seeing if it's useful like from every direction. That is really cute too. Not a huge fan of it. I think I'm gonna see if I can just use the side of it on this side instead. That's kind of working for me. Hmm. Oh, that fits. Okay. Let's, uh, ooh, I think we have room, in fact, for two of those now. Check this out, guys. My camp is always underwhelming. Do you have any tips for making it less boring? That's a good question. Um, I have a lot of stuff saved up because I've been playing this game forever and I do all of the events and then get some cookies as well in between that stuff. Um, so the more you play, the more you'll just earn from like garden events and fishing events. What I like to do the most is in garden events, when they have really good plants, I get as many of the plants as I can because the garden event lets you like just plant flowers every three, every three hours. So if I see a plant that I really like or like a rock or something that looks like it can be used as decor outside, I will go and get as many dupes of those as I can. Um, and I find that really helps to kind of like fill out the spaces in between all of your cool stuff. Hey Mar, how's it going? Hopefully that makes sense. Um, and hopefully you can do something with that. <laughs> oh, it doesn't fit back there. 
Yeah, I love the garden events because it lets you get dupes and I often get as many dupes as I can. So definitely recommend next time uh, it comes around. I think it's, I think April is gonna be super cute. I can't believe we're in April already, like in a few weeks. This time flies way too fast. I'm gonna scooch everything over by one block. We're getting picky today. Uh, no. I lied. I preferred it <laughs> this way first. Yep. That one over as well. It's really, they're really not connecting. Um, hopefully no one has to walk up there because it's physically impossible, but we live in a fantasy world here, so it's fine. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna save this uh, and then change the terrain because I'm not vibing with the foreground that I chose. All right, let's uh, see if it's walkable really quickly. Oh my God, it's so cute. I don't have any animals in my campsite right now. You can even walk through here and get a little cute. Oh, can we walk back here too? No. Oh, we can go kind of in the store. And we can go all the way back here. Super cute. Okay. Nope, not there. Uh, let's go design. And we're going to change the foreground. Okay, for a round. Let's go with, there is this one that has kind of a stone path in it that I really like. So we might go with that. But I would like to be able to use that fountain. Maybe we can still use it. I can still figure something out with it. And there are some fun ones. There's this one with the cherry blossoms. And there's a good path in the cherry blossoms, but it does take up so much space. This one has a little Sakura River at the front, which is also really nice. Oh, maybe we go with the Sakura River, guys. I think we're gonna go with this one. How can you, really, how can you not? That is so cute. Okay, okay. Let's try it out. We can always change it later. All right, back to designing. Ah, oh, thank you guys. Uh, I really do like this fountain, but I feel like it's not going to match the vibe anymore. <laughs> what if we, can we tuck the fountain back here? Can we just replace this building instead with a nice fountain? No, okay. I tried. Wait, what if we put this building here and this building here and it kind of makes this shopping area a little bit bigger. Okay, first thing, get rid of the fountain. It is too big. We still have this guy. We have a street light. Okay, these are the things we need to move around, little pieces. Uh, I think I need to move this a little bit farther forward so we can actually maneuver through here. Yeah, okay, this is feeling cute to me. And now we kind of got to fill up the in-between spaces. So we have an awesome town and we have a whole bunch of blank spaces like this and this whole front area. I know I have a kind of some junk over here. We're gonna move this and we're gonna have to figure out what works best. So back to the inventory and let's figure out what works. We got this new little bench from the fishing tourney. I'm not super excited about it. I'm just, okay, this house is kind of bothering me. We can put a bench there. It's cute. I think they the animals will sit on it like and eat something. So it actually is 
pretty cute, so we'll work with that for now. What if we put some lights over here? Can those, these lights fit way in the back? No, they cannot. Can this fit way in the back? Nope. Can this fit way in the back? Yes, it can. Okay. Um, I will tell you guys to start thinking now because we're going to need to invite some animals and I will absolutely take your animal recommendations for whoever we should invite to this cute town. Um, I have all the animals unlocked so no one is off bounds. This little garden knoll is super cute. I might just stick it over here for now. Look how adorable. Love it. Um, okay, I was gonna put some shrubs and some rocks. Not a great place for rocks over here. But on this like little green patch area, Ooh, big corners. We definitely have some room to play around with some stuff. I'm gonna fill this space in between them with some flowers in a sec. I like how the moss matches, very cute. Maybe we can have this like water side. A little water side moment. Or outside this shop, maybe. Yeah, that works for me. I want some more. And I have two of the white azaleas because we can make dupes of these. But I have so many of the pink and the red ones because I got as many as I could, which was well worth it, honestly. Ooh, will these lanterns actually... These might be really cute lanterns to use. They don't go on top of the streets. Ah, uh, Put them in the middle here. Uh, I don't think they match because we don't have any other lanterns and I can't think of anywhere else to put them, so I'm gonna get rid of the lanterns. That works. Oh, we do have this bench. Is this the one where they eat snacks on it? Places it. Uh, put some flowers down. Just kind of put them here and there. We had all the snowy stuff. We had Bia's cookie. Still love Bia's cookie, so good. Just a, a random assortment of junk <laughs> in my inventory. <laughs> There's a shocking amount of stuff in here. That is a little bit embarrassing. I really need to clean up my inventory. <laughs> oh my gosh. There are some more bushes around. Because who doesn't love extra flora and fauna? So we do have this like mossy rug that I absolutely love, but I don't think we need it here. Despite my love for it, I I was kind of hoping it would fit nicely right here in this like middle patch, but it doesn't. So I'm just going to leave it be. Do you buy a lot of the middle grounds and foregrounds? The backgrounds are always so expensive. Yeah, that's honestly what I end up doing is buying like the middle grounds and foregrounds because I find they make the biggest like difference. And then um, I only have a couple of the skies and a couple of the backgrounds that I kind of rotate through. This is a cute little fountain. Maybe just a little bit too big for this area, but um, it's kind of cute. It glows. Nothing else is really glowing right now though. So let's gonna get rid of it for now. Uh, yay, thank you so much. How's it going? Hope you're having a good night. 
still living off the uh, the high that is your Twitter post going viral on the Pocket Camp TikTok or Pocket Camp Twitter. Oh my god, this is so random, but I was in a meeting like for work the other day and my boss called Twitter like unironically just straight up with her full chest. She called Twitter X and I was like, oh my gosh, no one calls it X, right? People still call it Twitter. Is that just me? Or are people now finally starting to turn it like, <sighs> it's so weird to call it not Twitter. <laughs> yeah, same. Okay, we're on the same page. Absolutely. Ooh, I kind of like that in there. A little hidden tree. That works. That works. Um, yeah, I'm still, I'm calling it Twitter. Call it a form of protest, but it's going to be Twitter for me. I like this little tree. Does a little tree like me? Maybe. I just have some flowers here and there. It's such a silly name. Okay. <laughs> so good, good to know. It's only my boss who is now calling it officially X. <laughs> Yes, you can come visit now. It's like half done uh, in this save state if you want, but yeah, it'll be it'll be good in like 10 more minutes. Hmm, what else can we add here? Little cin I love the cinema roll parasol. It's super cute. Got a couple cinema roll items, pom pom pur and chair. Oof. Um, my one regret is that all my cats are tied up in my cabin right now <laughs> for that one TikTok that I made. Um, I should go get my cats and put some cats in this. I think what I want to do is search by patch. And when I do this, all of my flowers come up. So I wanted to grab, I think we're going to go white or pink. Hmm, let's go with pink. They're gonna be a pain because they're gonna layer themselves on top, but that's okay. And we're gonna put them where that green spot is. There's your calico cat cabin, it's so cute, yay! Yeah, I love my little calico cat um, cafe in the cabin. I actually have like two floors of cafes right now. <laughs> it's not very creative up in there. Oh my gosh, the struggle is real, moving all of these objects one by one. We need more pink. Hello, pink. Is it okay to friend me? Um, I actually don't have any room on my friends list, so I can't accept new friend requests. However, if you want to come and visit this town, um, you can join my Discord, and there's a channel in my Discord where I share my friend code and instructions on how to visit. Um, so I can't add new friends, but if you want to visit, you can come visit. Um, I will essentially, you essentially send me the friend request. I react to your favorite photo and then, uh, I will pop up in your visitors and you can come visit the build. So if you want to do that, you're more than welcome to. I have my discord linked in my bio. It's the only link in there. Oh my gosh. Yes. I love finding other players who have played since launch. It's definitely uh, an addiction and I don't see myself stopping anytime soon. Okay, guys, I'm feeling good about this. I'm feeling like this is pretty cute. So let's add some animals and see like all the interactions of them using our little town. So far, it's only us feeling a little lonely. Yeah, the app has changed so much in six years. It's absolutely insane. I love this little, little pier, the little dock. Okay, so now I need you guys to tell me who we should invite. When I do this, I usually go by theme and then I'll invite all the harmonious 
uh, animals that I like in here. So I'm gonna start doing that. If you guys wanna see a specific animal, let me know. Because I have all, I think we're at 400 animals now. I have all of them. Let's go. You're moving all your old iCloud stuff and all my launch photos. Oh my gosh, can you share your launch photos in the Discord? I would die to see those. It's such a different game. Kiki, we have Kiki, we have Blanche, of course. Those are some great ones. Kiki's at the cabin at the cat cafe, but that's okay. Kiki can come join. Goldie, absolutely, Goldie. Good choice. Ugh, I hate how it starts from the top. Okay. We're back. Coco. Yes, I love Coco. Um, let's go with Genji. I actually like Snake a lot. Snake's just a cute little pink bunny. What is not to like with Snake? Um, Shino, a classic. Yes. Ah, uh, good, good fave. Good fave to have. I do kind of like Gladys. Gladys and Blanche, kind of same tier for me. Um, Toby, why not? Pico, ab absolutely. Definitely agree with that. Mm, Kabuki? Oh, Pearl. Yeah, we need Pearl. Who else? Phil's new. Cruck is new. Walt, I don't like Walt. Tammy has those red eyes. Knox, I don't know why he's a knight. Um, Tian Chang is cute. Okay, I think that's a lot. Okay, let's do Chester and then we'll see if we need to add some more. Okay, let's check it out. I love when like all the animals are interacting with the items. That's what's missing for me from New Horizons so much is the item interaction. Like guys, literally just look at this. We have Snake selling some adorable little pastries. Toby's enjoying them. Pico's eating a snack. We have, oh my God, eating some watermelon. Shino staring at the shooting stars, at the city lights. Oh, I need to change this outfit. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Kiki is in not the cutest outfit ever. Goldie just vibing. Okay, my queen. Ooh, Chester inside the shop. I love how you can just see in the window. That is really cool. Anyone? Oh, okay. As Gladys. Yeah, Gladys having some coffee. I've already forgot their names. Out of my head, Genji looking at some delicious snacks. Tian Shang on the mountain. Yeah, okay, I think we have some space. Let's add the last two. Let's, okay, first of all, I need to change this outfit. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Kiki. I think I had like a summer theme in my camp and I dressed Kiki for the summer. Uh, I apologize in advance. This is not the outfit that I think she looks best in. <laughs> uh, I don't think that's the vibe either. Do we go harmonious and see what I have in stock? I have like most of my... Oh, spring rabbit's really cute. Ooh, what about this falling sakura? That's really cute. I do like that. And a little handheld floral. Yeah, okay, okay. Kiki's looking cute. That made me happier. Okay, we have two spots left for animals in the camp. So I will let you guys uh, help me figure out who we should invite. Anyone is up for grabs. I like most of the dogs in this game. I think it's just because like, I'm a dog person. Cookie and Bia are so cute. Um... The cat's also super cute. Thank you so much, Elle. Cookie? Okay, we got Cookie. I have been playing day since day one, since it launched six over six years ago. Melba, Bia, or Cookie? Uh, okay, we got Cookie already. Should we add another dog or should we grab someone else? 
Um, I mean, I always love having uh, Bia in my camp. I love Bia. Who've been playing since day one too. Yay! Yeah, you're the second person who's popped in saying that uh, they've been playing since launch. That is awesome. There's definitely a lot of us here. So welcome to Pocket Camp TikTok if you haven't been here already. I just noticed that S Santa Rose. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, looking so cute. Oh gosh, everyone's in the way. I just noticed that Chester does not even have anything in this shirt is tragic. So we're gonna change Chester's outfit real quick because I cannot stand for this. Marcelo's good. Yeah, Marcelo's cute. Mm, let us, I'm gonna search my harmonious again, just to fit the vibe. The Imperial shirt is pretty standard. Ninja shirt, what does that look like? Does that like blend in with his arms a little bit too much? What about this top? This top is actually kind of cute on Chester. I kind of like that. Any hats? Oh, uh, why is Chester looking so adorable right now? I'm happy with this. Ah, uh, Sophie, thank you. Come back. That The one thing I love about Pocket Camp is if there's like a month or like six months of events that you don't like, you don't have to play the game at all. And you can just come back in six months when there's stuff that you like that's coming out and just jump right back into it. It's so perfect. You know what? The one thing we're missing actually, uh, let's go by Brewster. Hang on, Brewster is being held captive in my cabin. So we're gonna go save Brewster and bring him back to man our coffee bar. This is our little cat cafe. And there's only two cats left. We stole most of the cats. <laughs> oh no, there's three. Mary's here too. Um, yeah, let us. So we have Brewster's coffee stand, so we're gonna get rid of it so that we can take it. Let's also, um, while we're here, we're gonna go up to another floor and get our cats. You're such bad FOMO. I don't think you could ever skip a month. Honestly, same. Uh, just the, the life. Also, like, once I get into a game that I really like, my brain is just wired for that game, and I never stop playing it. It's like that with Pocket Camp. It's been like that with Overwatch for me. <laughs> um, this is my viral TikTok uh, room. With all my dupes. Let's get some cats out of here. So even if I don't like the, even before I started making content for this game, if there was a month that I didn't like, I would still feel beholden to finish it and get all the items, which is why I have mostly items in the game, which is kind of ridiculous. But you know, yeah, reaching for your phone each rotation is now muscle memory. Why not, right? It's, it's so super easy to do. You get some cute items. Oh, everyone is in my way, okay. Very cute Kabuki <laughs> and Pico, adorable. Let's get you out of the way. All right, we have Cookie here. Kinda want to move, oh, wow. They don't want me to walk in here. There we go, okay, Coco is here, perfect. Bia, oh, my heart. Wow, everyone's over here in the alleyway. Cute, I like it. All right, let's do a quick walk around. This is one of my favorite camp designs in a while. It came together so quickly, too. Thank you guys for being here with me. <laughs> it can be commitment if you want to. Um, yeah, getting all the free items every month can feel tedious. So I always recommend that if you're not feeling it, like, take a break. I think that's the best part about this game is you don't have to. It'll still be here. <laughs> Um, if you want to take a break, like there's, you might miss the items, but you're not going to be behind or anything, which is really nice. Okay, uh, we were going to add in Brewster. Right? The hair is so pretty. The terrain is gorgeous too. Yeah, I think I ended up getting the terrain mostly because it has like the white stone. And I do really like the white stone. So we're gonna take Brewster and tuck him in behind the coffee bar here. So that when people, so it looks like Brewster is serving coffee. And I also said we were gonna add some cats. So let's add some cats. 
think, wait, cat without an S. Just, just cat singular. There you go. Calico cat statue. I definitely think we were missing some cats here. I don't want to put them in the way of us walking, which I guess they can't. If we can walk on the path and they cannot, then we should be good to go. Why not add two? Oh, it's it's hiding behind a building somewhere. Yeah, in the very corner of our campsite. I don't think we can save it there. So, oh, this is so annoying. I have to go put away and then kind of zoom in somewhere else. And then hope that the cat lands <laughs> maybe over here. Okay, good. That is usable. We can move this kitty around. Okay, we got some cats now. Uh, I'm just gonna move this cat here. That feels good. Um, and I want this cat... The cat... Not the tree. The cat! Not the, <laughs> there we go, we got him. I'm gonna turn him one more and put him right down here. No? Oh, okay. How does this look? Yeah, I like that cat. Should we use a signpost? I'm like 50-50 on the signpost. Okay, that's okay for me. On what console is this game? Um, this is just on your phone. So you can play this on Android or iOS and it's totally free to play. Uh, you can spend money on microtransactions if you like, but you don't have to. This seems cuter in front of it. Yeah, it definitely has its ups and downs. I played New Horizons. I have like 300 hours in New Horizons and I found that I eventually got bored of New Horizons. But Pocket Camp has me playing literally every day for six years, so I don't know if that says anything about me or if that says something about the game. <laughs> Probably more about me. But I love Pocket Camp, and it's definitely worth a try if you want to test it out. It definitely takes, if you're new to Pocket okay guys, I'm just trying to get it the animals to rotate so they're not in my way so I can walk around, but I don't know if that's going to happen. <laughs> Um, what I find is like new, new players to pocket camp, it does take you some time and commitment to get as many items as I have. Cause like a lot of people will see my videos and kind of get disappointed that they can't do this right away. It does take some time and I recommend just taking it slow. Like this game is definitely very much like a slow burn. Uh, you will eventually have a lot of items, but it does take time. So it's what you like. Oh my gosh, I would love if I could pick and drop off campers. But we will just use the camera mode for now, I guess. Like, there's so many other places they could be. And we got, we got Brewsty now. Brewsty brewing up some, uh, some delicious brew. Maybe it's because I got rid of the ability for them to use the coffee bar that they're all showing up over in my way. Let me see if I can move things around because I love walking around in these. So, favorite campers are Zell and Goldie. I'm gonna turn this around so that they actually have an extra spot to walk, to do something at. Uh, I think I can move this one over, move this one back, and move this one back. And maybe we'll be able to fit through here. Let's uh, maneuver some things around a little bit. Okay. Let's see if we can walk around here now. No, it's still a roadblock there, but here we go. Hey, Goldie, looking cute as always. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. I'm holding a, a magnifying glass. There we go, we're going shopping. 
What's the difference between pocket version versus the actual Nintendo version? Um, there's a basically a lot of differences. Ooh, how do you how do you kind of broach that? The Nintendo Switch version is more of like the classic um, Animal Crossing. This Pocket Camp is more to me like just kind of collect items and decorate. And the decoration in Pocket Camp is really simple. Whereas the Switch version kind of takes a little bit longer and there's terraforming and all that stuff. Um, this is, Pocket Camp is kind of like a drag and drop of designing, which I personally absolutely love. Let's sit down. Yeah, and this is how I would normally make a video for you guys. Just open up the camera mode, pan across. But apparently y'all enjoy watching my little character walk around. I think I made it a little too tight. Like I can't walk around through here. <laughs> Everyone's doing their thing in the alleyways along the paths, but I do like how they can stand on the paths. That Toby Eden, so cute. I absolutely love how Shino is just looking at the stars on the city lights. And I love that horizon. Hey Noah, yes, it's so cute, me too. I'm obsessed, like just with this area over here, I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I feel like this would make a good, a good post. 